Sometimes you'll find in these situations with these uh, explorers that this is a 3.7 liter here and they're notorious for it. Sometimes a 3.5 as well, but a 3.7 is more prominent. And you'll find that you'll get in the computer appeal 430 code, which is the front cat on these 3.7s and 3.5s. It's the one up by the radiator. And the one with the bracket right here is the front cat one. The part number for that is FB5Z5 Golf 232 Apple. Well, when you get in there and you start getting everything apart, you'll find that this exhaust, man, when you pull the intermediate pipe out of there, you look in the bottom of the catalytic converter in the back, and it's coming apart as well, even though there's no code set. You may as well replace them while, while you're there, because you're going to be doing twice the work pulling this stuff back down. And uh, part number for the rear cat is FB5Z5 Golf 232 Bravo. So basically... Uh, same part number except the front is an A, the back is a B. And there's a lot of associated parts that go along with it. You get, that's your flange gasket there up front where it goes to the front cat, the pipe over there. And you guys can write the numbers down yourself. I'm not going to go through and read every single one of them. Then the studs that go in the cylinder head to hold the nuts on. Front and back, W712244 S300. And then this is the nuts right here that hold everything off of the head. Not on the head itself, but downstream. I'm talking all the connections, all the studs that go through. This is the nuts here that hold the exhaust up to the catalytic converter, W714265 S441. Um. These are your uh, manifold gaskets. DG1Z9448 Apple. DG1Z9448 Apple. They're identical. And then you have your big gasket downstream, which goes in between the two pieces here. It's that rusted part right there. It's a uh, David Apple 5 Zebra 9450 Apple. And then you have your let me see if they gave me did they give me extra or did I already say this one I think I already said this one didn't I yeah I already said this one so they gave me one too many so I gotta take this one yeah this one's gonna have to go back they gave me too many and then these are the, the nuts that hold the manifold to the actual head W7160111 S430. I'll show you what they look like real quick with the exhaust off. Basically what I started with so far is I unplugged sensors and stuff up here. And now I'm taking my nuts and studs out. I'm going to drop the cat out the bottom. There's a lot of room underneath once you get under there. And once you get down here you can see where the flat gasket goes. But you can see that catalytic con converter material right there coming apart this is the PO430 code that's set for up here and you got a couple bolts down here that come apart you can actually reach up here with a ratcheting wrench and pull the nuts off take this plate off of there so it's easier sliding it out and then you can see you got studs there's the manifold studs underneath so you gotta work your your up top section and then come down low and take your two down low You can come through the front right here, kind of like on an angle, with a swivel and a 13. You can get that one out of there. And then when I pulled the exhaust off, even though there was no code set for the back, I came back here and I caught this residue out of the corner of my eye and I was like, wait a second oh crap that one's coming apart too it needs a rear cat also now you can you can get this one out of here but it's tricky I've seen some guys I don't know if they it's been a while since I've done one loosen it up and I don't know if they slide it out this way or some guys drop the rear subframe so they can bring it back over the subframe it's just 
just really all depends on where you want to go with it. Yeah, anyhow, that's the gist of the job. That's what goes into replacing the cap. So that's my morning start. Let's have at it.